Main goal here was just to go out and take photos. It was already dark out. I only had a few locations that would work. I had two phones with me and a little tripod for the b-roll. Worked out pretty nicely. Of course these phones are not great for dark conditions. First thing I saw were the flagpoles of course. Shooting up into the flagpoles that means you can get a lot of the pole itself in the photo filling the frame and autofocus was not great in that situation. It was super dark in that little spot but I did get one photo that looks okay. It was around 17 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty cold. I don't even know what I'm doing out here. And it was challenging with phones to take photos because you're usually taking your gloves off, putting them back on. Even when you have that touch capability on the gloves, it doesn't really work too well, especially on screens like this. Any type of source of light are great opportunities for photos in dark conditions because you can easily focus on that. And I took a few pictures of these little lamps they have around the park. These plants here had a nice texture to them and some snow on them so definitely want to try to take some photos of that. The central structure or monument, whatever you're going to call it, in this little park is a good photo app with this specific phone. It has one focal length, one camera in it, and I wasn't finding great angles for that one spot. Take photos anyways, see what you get out of it. I had two sets of plants that didn't work out. Autofocus was definitely one of the main challenges in this little photo editing, especially with gloves on. This evergreen with a loop, I was trying to find a good angle, good position to take some photos of it. I had to get a few that were nicely in focus. I tried using some of the lights in the area for flare, sunburst, that did work out nicely. Of course, when you focus on the light itself, the phone will automatically change the exposure so you can get a different look to the photos or focus on something else and then it'll be a brighter picture, but of course more noise in that situation. Here we have some tall grasses, still look very nice for this time of year. And then in the background, you've got all the lights from a busy street. This plant still looked pretty interesting. The area was very dark, so with this phone, it didn't work out super amazing. Here we have the light shining down on the stone path. I think I've taken some photos of this. Works out nicely. And then in the background, you have a different color of light with those other structures. Did try to take some photos of the flags, groups of flags. Worked out okay. The reflection of the marble in this area drew my eye. More plants I wasn't able to get proper focus on in this situation. More tall grasses as well. Those are a very nice subject. At that point, I hit the 10 minute mark. I was done with the photo outing. I did take one other photo right afterwards. You want to see that one, but technically it does not count. I think this is a good way to take photos. If you feel a little bit unmotivated, you still want to go out though. Just having a nice, enjoyable time doing photography, I think is a great thing. 